Hey, well, boy, howdy, boys and girls, men and women of all ages and walks in life. Welcome once again to the building side of the garage here at Randy's Guitar Shop. Thanks, Robert. First and foremost, today is the 14th of February and it's Valentine's Day. That's right, guys. You better run out to the store and get something for the wife unit there. And all you guys and gals that are dating, you better get her something too. So anyways, guys, keep that in mind. No music today because I'm going to show something here. So as you know, this bass is a bass I'm putting together for uh, my dear friend. And, you know, he we decided he wanted to put these really nice uh, EMG Geezer Butler pickups in here. Uh, I think there's a picture of it like right here. There you go. Yeah, isn't that something? Anyways... I got an issue with old geezer. <laughs> the old geezer. Anyways, guys, um, here's what's going on. When I made a video about this bass last time, I hooked all this stuff up, turned it on, and I demonstrated that everything worked perfectly. So, got my pick guard. You've seen it before already. So I put, you know, I put it together. And all I did was put it together. I touched nothing at all. So, what do we have now? Let's check it out on the old honey tone. All right. When you turn the front pickup on, the P-Bass pickup, voila, beautiful. Let's turn that off. And I don't know if you can hear this or not, but there's a little bit of scratchiness going on. And when you just touch these wire harnesses, there's there's noise. There shouldn't be any noise at all. Because when I demonstrated this, it was dead quiet, as you remember. Because you were really watching. So let's turn this one on all the way. This J-Bass pickup. And this was something I really wanted him to have. Because he's already got an awesome P-Bass, okay? He doesn't need another P-Bass. Anyways, well, maybe he does, but... <laughs> there's kind of a noise, but not like... There is not a noise like that at all. So I'm not saying this one is inoperable completely, but it isn't, it hasn't got any umph to it. So let's turn this back off. And here's the deal with these things. It's because they are little tiny circuit boards, as you can see. Um, just for the heck of it, I'm going to take you out of your lovely cradle. This is going to be pretty bad. And uh, show you this. So let me uh, kind of, Turn you around there. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. But as you can see, these are little circuit boards. And they plug in and out with these little plugs. And somewhere along the line, something went awry. So we got to figure that out, you guys. And um, they're really cool. I mean, if this, when this probably works, it probably is just awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take you back over to your... Your cradle that you love so much. So that's the deal. And uh, I'm supposed to have this up and running on the 21st. Hopefully before the 21st so I can test it out. But anyways, uh, any of you guys want to tell me what happened? As you know, I am electronically challenged many times. Uh, I haven't always failed, but there's been a lot of times when I've put guitars together on these guitar kits that I build, and the electronics, I just don't wire them properly, or, or they goof, they're goofed up. You saw me struggle with that sparkly one, and it's still not correct, but it works. We will make this thing work if we have to get a new set of these. You know, he bought it from wherever. It could have been Sweetwater, uh, Guitar Center, Amazon, you know, uh, Emu, Timu, or whatever. <laughs> Emu? Anyways, guys, say your prayers for us so I can get this fixed, would you? <laughs> Anyways, this is the Wednesday video. And, uh, you know, I think I want to read something to you. This is from the Bible, one of my favorite books. And it's pretty cool. It's a very, very um, uh, happy thing. And it's, and it's a joyful thing. And it's, you know, a lot of people think the Bible is just all these rules and regulations and you know, hellfire and damnation and it's all uh, blah, 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 you know. But this is Ecclesiastes 5.18. I'm just going to read it to you. I hope you don't mind. And if you do, I'm sorry. 
Behold what I have seen. It is good and, and beautiful to eat and to drink and to enjoy the good of your labor. In other words, th what comes from your work that you have under the sun all the days of your life, which God gives you for your portion. That's right. He gives you when you do something. If you just never do anything, you kind of don't get anything. You know, the Bible states, honestly, you guys, that if you don't work, you don't eat. And we have all these people all over, especially this wonderful, great country that don't want to work anymore. Don't get it. I'm sorry I'm on a tirade. Uh, anyways, guys, forgive me for that one. But still, uh, I believe in that. And I think it's, it's great to know that in your heart that uh, God is for you and he wants the best for you. All you got to do is, is do what he asks you to do. So anyways, guys, let's uh, say our little prayers for, uh, you know, getting this darn thing. You can pray for anything. Did you know that in the Bible? You can actually pray for anything. It doesn't mean you're going to get it, but you can pray for absolutely anything. So anyways, guys, and you could pray for a honey tone. Have a wonderful and a blessed week this week. You guys, boys out there, don't forget to run out and get your gals a something for valentine's day or you'll you know be, be in the doghouse sleeping on the couch anyways let's get this thing figured out i'll probably see you saturday and uh, do a little playing or something like that so i love you all for watching the videos i've got a few more subscribers and uh, uh i just keep, hope it keeps kind of just gradually growing little by little give me a thumbs up hit the like button and share the videos leave a comment if you want to comment about what i've said to you today doesn't matter to me. Anything is good. Anyways, I see you later. Don't forget to pray for your country, whatever country it is. Don't forget to pray for the world, a world in crazy upheaval, especially in this country and elsewhere. Our thoughts and our prayers need to go to the Father, and hopefully we can get things straightened around in the future. Don't forget to pray for your friends, neighbors, and loved ones for their that need medical attention. Let's get them on the road to recovery or whatever is going to come down the road for them. See you guys later in the next video from Randy's Guitar Shop. Bye-bye.